What's up guys, Robin Carlo here with Lennartson. So a customer of ours sent in their Chieftain boots for a clean and condition routine. And I thought it'd be interesting to make a video of these. Um, as you can see, the pair is pretty beat up. I was pretty surprised by this because the pair has only been worn for a couple of months. But this person obviously, you know, they wear them hard. I've got my Chieftain boots, uh, the same color. Um, I've been wearing those for a couple of months. Not daily, but um, they've been through a lot as well. But I take really good care of them, so they look very different. I'm gonna show you a comparison just in a couple of seconds. There we go, so this is my pair. Now, if you look closely, they'll also have some um, some creases, but um, obviously much less. You know, why is that? Well, first off, because I use shoe trees, which, you know, at least avoids getting these really thick creases and, and folds in the vamp. But also, you know, most importantly, I take care of them. Like, I'll clean and condition them like every month or so. So they never get to this stage, actually. All right, so before we start working on the upper, a little attention to the outsole. Uh, these boots have a rubber commander sole. It's a sole that I personally really enjoy wearing. Um, but what typically happens is that you get these tiny pebbles that get stuck between the locks of the sole. So I just poke them out using a uh, house key. So um, often when I, when I start cleaning a boot or a shoe that is uh, in worse shape um, than I'm used to, I'm always a little bit scared like, um, Am I going to be able to fix this or you know turn this around into something that that looks halfway decent? Um, but you'll see, you know, there's so much you can do. I think they look bad right now, but you know, when we go through the stages of just brushing them off, cleaning them with saddle soap, putting on different uh, types of cream and, and waxes and stuff, they're all small gestures but uh, they all end up uh, adding up to, to, to making a big difference. Uh, I think you'll agree if you uh, watch this video through to the end. So the first step always is brushing off the boot. We often use box cuff leather, but this uh, boot is built with a uh, crossed cuff leather. So the main difference in a crossed and a box is that crossed doesn't get dyed at the tannery instead. It's delivered undyed to the shoe factory and it's the shoemakers that dye the skins and then uh, will hand paint like extra layers of paint on top of the shoe or, or do some hand burnishing and stuff. Okay, so after brushing off the shoe, which is a, an important step, um, we go to the second step and that's cleaning the leather with leather soap, or in this case specifically saddle soap. Um, it's nothing special, it's just a, a kind of soap that's, that's okay to use on leather. It takes off um, some extra dust and dirt and it'll also kind of remove like past layers of waxes and stuff. Which is okay, because we're gonna reapply new layers. You're also gonna see when this dries up, uh, the boots are probably gonna look a little dull. Which is uh, totally okay. We uh, were taking out the shine, basically, doing this. But we're gonna re-shine them, reapply shine, using different products.
So besides using saddle soap to clean off the the uppers, like the, the leather of the boot, I'll also uh, use it to clean the welt of the boot. I think it's very important to take good care of the welt of the shoe or the boot, considering they're Goodyear welted shoes, you know. It's the one piece of material that's keeping everything together, you know. The upper stitch to the welt and the welt is stitched to the sole. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna apply the first layer of uh, a conditioning cream, condition and coloring cream, basically. This one is from Colonial, uh, the 1909 line, which is a great product. This is a very thin cream, so I really like using this as a, as a base layer. Uh, give it time to set in and penetrate the leather. It'll add a first layer of color, but it doesn't have like an extreme thick substance or a huge amount of pigment. It does a job perfectly as a first layer, but I'm going to add a second layer of a different uh, product later on, you'll see. All right, and after we've uh, let that sit for a while, let the cream penetrate the leather, uh, we do a first round of buffing. You can see there's already a little bit of shine and color coming back to the boot, but we're nowhere near uh, finishing this job. see the difference between the one that has been buffed and the one that hasn't. All right, and the left one. Gotta make it shine as well. So by using saddle soap on the well, what you'll have is like residue that gets stuck in these uh, needle holes. So I use a, a simple toothpick to uh, just pick that out because later on we're also gonna be applying conditioner to the weld. All right, so after that first layer of the, the Colonial cream, we switch to Saphir Medaille d'Or, which is a great shoe cream as well. It's a very different product, much thicker. It's a cream, but it is a, a waxy cream, but still it does penetrate the leather um, and it has a lot of color pigments. So I think it's great for a final coat I put a lot of it on there normally than I more than I normally would, but it can take it. And it's gonna penetrate the leather and it's gonna add some vibrancy to the color. All right, and after we've waited for this cream to set in, I usually wait around 20 minutes for any product to really penetrate the leather before I start buffing it up. Uh, we start buffing, this time not using a brush, but a glove. Uh, I really like this. Um, it's very handy for, uh, for this kind of wax to get a good shine. I think you can see we've already taken the boots quite a long way from where they were in the beginning. They're pretty much done in my opinion, but I'm gonna just do a couple of final steps to really uh, take them to the next level. So 
So a plus side of wearing the boots this much and this hard is that the leather has gotten like incredibly supple. I imagine these are very comfortable to wear. Okay, so originally these boots had like a burnishing on the toe, like, like a darker spot, a darker brown. You couldn't really tell uh, in the beginning because they have been beat up so badly. But I'm going to try and mimic this using a darker shoe cream, again uh, from the Colonial 1909 line. It's just a dark brown, I'm going to add a little on top of that Saphir cream, just on the toe box, and see how that works out. Now, as I'm recording this voiceover, looking back at this video, it really dawns on me how much I like cleaning shoes and boots. Um, it's almost therapeutic for me. I mean, you take something that's so beat up, you take it through process, and it's not a rushed process. You can't rush it, you know. You, you gotta take it slow. It's a slow process. It's soothing, relaxing, and every step of the way you see it improve. All right, so earlier on we cleaned the weld. Now it's time to also condition it. The weld is a very important part of the boot. It's the part that keeps the boot and the sole together. It's also made out of leather, so uh, it's important that we condition it as well. So I try to evenly apply some conditioner on top of the weld and to the side of the soles, making sure that leather is moisturized and doesn't dry up over time. All right, I'm kind of wiping it off a little bit. I use, probably use a little much. I'm looking at the boot through my camera while I'm doing this. It's not very helpful, but uh, it's no problem. It'll, it'll be all right. Right, so after we've waited for the dark brown cream on the toe box to set in and the conditioner on the weld to set in, we're gonna buff that off as well. You can see I pay extra attention to the spot where the light brown transitions into the dark brown in order to get like this smooth transition. Right here, it might not look like it, but I'm actually not really touching the boot. Um, I'm buffing the edges of the sole. Alright, I'm gonna do one more thing. Well, actually two more things, but the first one is uh, I'm gonna apply some shoe wax. So different from a cream, a wax is, well, waxy. It doesn't really penetrate the leather, but it sits on top. And the only reason I do this is to get a little bit of an extra shine on the toe box. So I'm also only gonna apply it to the toe box. Right, gonna let that dry up. There we go. You can see how, how funny it looks when it's uh, hardened up. But that's the best way to get a good shine. So first I buff it again with the brush and I'll finish it off with the glove. Seeing that this is a local customer that also lives in Belgium, a uh, pretty rainy country, I'm also going to use a waterproofing spray. This isn't a chemical spray, I really don't like those. This one is also by Colonial 1909, and it's more a liquid wax, if you will. 
Only thing that it does do that I don't like as much, it has pretty big droplets. So that kind of shows at the end and that's why I give it a final round of some more rough buffing. And it looks just fine. Okay, so I noticed that this boot has gotten some frayed threads uh, on some stitches on the upper. So a very simple solution is to just take a lighter, uh, put a flame to it, and blow it out. But, you know, be careful if you're not used to doing this. You don't want to burn down your boots. And I gotta say, this moment is always so satisfying for me. You know, putting the laces back in, it starts to look like a decent boot again. Um, you know, you really see the fruits of your labor when you uh, clean a boot or shoe. It's such a big difference from where we started. Gotta say, uh, I record this video on my desk beneath my light dome. Um, it really isn't the best lighting, so uh, sorry for that. The color of this boot is, is actually a little different than real life. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. No, if you like this kind of content, we have a lot more of it on our YouTube channel, especially on our Instagram, and definitely also on our website, which is lenartson.com. That's L-E-N-N-E-R-T-S-O-N. Check you later, guys. Take care and keep shining those boots.